Hello everyone, it's Mel from Melamori Nursery. I have come and uh, I don't know if I'm going to post this on the same day um, as I've already posted another uh, video. I'm not sure. Um, because I filmed Little Declan, who I forgot to mention was the Henley sculpt from Don McLeod. I did put it in the title. But I really, really wanted to bring on sweet little Maybeth, who is the Laura Sculpt by Bonnie Brown. She is probably, without a doubt, the most um, viewed common or common reborn uh, now on, on the reborn or Dolly channels. But that is fine. I love seeing the different... Uh, sculpts of the Laura. She is absolutely a masterpiece and everybody's Laura is absolutely gorgeous. And um, I had a little time this morning. So I had, I, I pre-recorded uh, the video for today. I pre-recorded that uh, in a, I don't know, I think I had like 10 minutes uh, yesterday to record that. And I have just about 25 minutes now before my next appointment. Do you see how, how many appointments I have? Like, it's, it's crazy. Um, but this little girl hasn't been on for some time, and she's just uh, spectacular. And I wanted to bring her on and try her on uh, with an outfit that... I'm not even sure how it's going to work out. It's a mix match of colors. Um, I thrifted this particular outfit. It's um, it's sort of an orange flowered outfit with the top and the long sleeves with the elasticated cuffs. And uh, it's like a little bubble romper. And it's just got buttons in the back. And then with that, I thought I'd try her on with this bonnet. So I have no idea how that's going to look. Um, I didn't even bring over a white hair bow in case it doesn't work. So I'm just going to see what I can do. Just bring this whole little box over of hair bows. And get her out of this little pink outfit. Uh... I know Wednesday is We Wear Pink, um, but today is still Tuesday, so I don't know when I'll be uploading this. Um, but I, I was looking at this sweet little heart, and I, I just, I needed to, to pull her out and bring her on. She was calling my name, if you will. Uh, in that way that, you know, a little reborn tugs at your heart and says, what about me? What about me? <laughs> so, um, Jay from Jay Dolls UK has a tag called I Used to Think. And my goodness, uh, I am desperately trying to think of all of the things that I used to think. Um, in my life. Look at that. Here I had this really long alas or plastic tag in there. Terrible. Um, I have to be more careful about that. Um, and she's got this long sleeve onesie on her and I might just leave that on her um, to protect her dose sway body. So what did I used to think? Well, okay, I used to think when I was really young, and this is more serious, it's not funny, it's serious. It, like in a more serious tone, isn't that hair bow just glorious? These were purchased from AliExpress. Um, really, really super good deals. And she's got a lot of red in her auburn hair here. I love, love, love that and I'm just going to treat her hair. So when I was growing up, um, I might have mentioned once or twice, uh, we came from a very poor family in terms of economic 
uh, census. And I was what teachers used to say, quite intelligent and gifted, um, although I believe we all are. And I was told in school that to balance out or even out um, the chances of my getting somewhere and being successful in life, um, an education was the direct route to that. So by education, it was specific to an institutionalized education. By, by that, I mean, you know, um, college or university or that sort of direction that I don't even know, folks. I don't even know if I can get this on her because of her splayed little fingers. So I'm just going to manipulate the clothes carefully here. So I worked and struggled at, at maintaining the highest grade point average I possibly could. I worked plenty of jobs to do it. Um, there was no free ride for, 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 uh, I'll say me, but also for anybody in my family. There was no free rides. I mean, there was just no extra money. And I, I jumped ahead several grades and trying to look for her little undershirt under here and I'm not getting it. Where did it go? Oh my goodness, maybe this was a mistake. Where is it? Let's pull this up a little bit to her fingers. So I believe them. I, I you know, I, I used to believe them. I, I, I remember sitting down with the educational counselors and going over all of the courses that I needed to take um, to fast track me on this path of um, being able to advance and then get my education so that I could quote unquote be somebody. And um, that, that point of being somebody was the end all, the be all, you know, having, having a degree uh, in, in the school system, you know, in the university school system. Um, and I knew many, many, many people who the school system just didn't work for. I mean, um, when I was married, for example, uh, my husband at the time, I mean, the, the, the school system just didn't work for him. It wasn't his, he was more of a technical trade uh, kind of guy and ended up being a truck driver. And, um, but in this, the, in the group that I kind of was put into, I was, you know, kind of sculpted into being an intellect, you know, to, to thinking that way. And quite honestly, uh, that's how I used to think. I used to think, oh, the only way out of poverty is to get a degree, to get an education and to then um, move on from that point. Well, folks, uh, let's fast forward some years. I do not agree with that now. Um, and I, I say this because some things have occurred to me in life um, now that I've experienced it. And one of those things that have occurred to me is that when you have a passion for something, anything, when you have a passion for something, um, you're going to do it. Uh, anyway, you're just going to do it. And that simple act of doing it, that passion for doing it, is going to take you towards 
that end goal. And some things, yes, you do need a degree or what I call a piece of paper, sure. Uh, for me, however, um, my path got interrupted and I became a mom and a wife and had, you know, my girls. And it wasn't until much later in life that, you know, uh, I was able to, you know, get to this point now where I write full time from home, which was always, always, always sort of my dream job anyway, which is ironic. So the, um, how is that color looking on her? Kind of an interesting color. So yeah, I used to think that leveling up meant going to school and getting an education, um, post-secondary education, to which, by the way, you need like a master's nowadays to get any particular kind of job. And, um, you know, a lot of, a lot of kids are going into, you know, massive debt to do this, you know, and I, uh, I, I got to the point where I was already published. I was already in the, um, the world of my trade, if you will, far before that. And even though I did get, you know, um, papers, if you will, degrees, if you will, um, let's try this hat on her. I don't know how this orange is going to work, but I just had to try on this ultra Philly hat. This reminds me of a little Southern Belle hat. But I no longer believe that uh, you need an education in order to be somebody. Because I used to think that. I used to think a school education. But there's so many different kinds of education in life, you see. Look at that hat on her. Look how frilly that hat is. She looks like a little lion in that hat. Little Leo lion. Let's get her some booties on. I got these booties. I think I got these from Amazon. Um, so yeah, I used to think that, I used to think that in order to be happy, okay, happy, I needed an education. And I don't believe that anymore. I believe in order to be happy, we have to accept ourselves and do what makes us passionate, whatever that happens to be. So I don't know if this is exactly what Jay was talking about. Maybe she was talking about something else. I mean, I had stories of Santa Claus and what I used to think in that regard. What little toy are you going to hang on to in this little outfit, honey? You've got orange and green. I never thought. I don't think pink is really going to go. Let's see. I mean, that's kind of a weird... I don't know about this hat, sweetheart. I just don't know about it. I love it. I think it's a little over the top. So let's look for a hair bow. Let's look for a hair bow. Now that we'd brushed your hair. There was a lot of things that I used to think, you know, but I think a lot of those thoughts were formulated from other people too. And this happens so often Sorry if you hear any crinkling over here, guys, while I look for a cute little bow for her hair. I think that's one there. I've got to open up this plasticky. See, these are these are AliExpress bows. But I think there's one in there that'll look good on her. Um Yeah, I used to think I used to think all sorts of things, you know, because, you know. We go to school and we're taught this stuff that we have to we have to follow a set set of guidelines in order to be somebody, you know, and then you're not anybody until you are that somebody, and that's 
kind of what I mean in my videos when I say I used to have really high standards for myself. Um, because I would push myself so hard. Which one of these are going to go better? I think this one here. I used to push myself so hard to reach that level of... Um, achievement that I never had time. I never had time to be social. I never had time to go out with friends and do fun things. And, you know, the only thing I don't like about these slippers here is the bottoms of them. Maybe we're going to keep it simple. Let's see. Maybe we're changing all of these extra little bits here. That's what she looks like with just bare feet. Maybe we'll just do a little bare feet little girl today. None of those extra bits are kind of doing it for me today. None of them. Um... I'm just wondering what kind of teddy we can have with her. That kind of looks good. This is uh, this is one of the, the twins' teddy that was left down here. She looks kind of really cute and cozy in that outfit. This is definitely her style, Maybeth style. Um, yeah, I, I used to believe what anybody would tell me. I guess I was really quite vulnerable very uh, innocent and ignorant in the ways of the world. But, you know, life skills, street smarts, those, those kind of things are far more of an education, I feel, now than I feel that being a student is. I mean, I will always, I think, be a student. I'm always learning. Um, but I think self-taught learning is uh, probably one of the most um, undervalued um, types of learning that we have in our society, you know. And um, I love the movie... Um, and of course, it will escape me right now. Um, it's a Robin William and Matt Damon movie, Good Will Hunting, that was written by Matt Damon and Ben Affleck. I love that movie. I love that movie because um, it really does say so much about life. You know? that life is a journey. It's not a destination. We never, ever, ever will be happy dot, dot, dot when. Um, we must embrace happiness now. So I used to think that one day I would make it. One day I would be somebody. And like I said, this is more on a serious kind of topic, but you know, I'm sort of in a serious kind of mood this morning. And so I will wrap this up really quickly because I hope this isn't depressing. But I I also hope to, to just, you know, inspire a little bit that I used to think that life was a destination. That I would be happy when I got to be a certain person or a certain size or a certain level of fame or fortune. And now... I definitely believe that I am the richest person I know because I am so thankful for everything I have and the opportunities I have, even with all my flaws. And that is the journey that I've been on. And that journey took a lot of hardships. A lot of pieces of the pie came out of my, my circle rolling really fast down a hill. And when those pieces of the pie got taken out of that circle and I got to stop and slow down and look around, even as painful as it was, 
I started to realize that my interpretation, my understanding of what I used to think was not really what it is. So that's what I used to think. And Jay, I want to thank you so much for your tag. And I'm not sure, like I said, if I will post this up on a Tuesday. Because I know I just did a short video this morning. Um, or if I will wait till tomorrow. But I have another one for tomorrow in mind as well. So thank you so much for this tag idea, Jay. And for everybody watching, I hope you have a, a wonderful day. I know I said it in my last video. Um, but I really needed to bring this little sweetheart on. And uh, Tuesday is also Talk Tuesday, Reborn Talk Tuesday. So I thought I would do Jay's tag. So I hope you are all doing well. This little one, by the way, was reborn by Tracy from Tracy's Little Treasures, as most of you know. And I just want to thank you all for watching me yet again. I hope you have a blessed and beautiful day, folks. Bye for now.